There is limited information regarding the first flight of the fully Russian MC-21, despite the fact that the ILM-1-4300 and PD-8 are totally domestic and took off in the first quarter of 2025. The MC-21 passenger aircraft is being prepared for serial production at a rapid pace. The first import substituted variants are preparing for flights in the first half of 2025, and the production partnership program is in the process of modernizing the production of aviation manufacturing companies throughout Russia. Additionally, the test aircraft are currently in flight. The Irkutsk Aviation Plant, the main facility where fuselage assembly for future aircraft is currently underway, has announced the commissioning of a new, expansive workshop spanning nearly 13,000 square meters. The machine tooling and automation divisions will be housed in this three-story structure, which will employ approximately 200 individuals. Another notable development from the facility is that they have already implemented new drilling machines with automatic feeds that replace those manufactured abroad. The cost of the new equipment is three times lower than that of imported equipment, and parts production was established at the facility with the assistance of industrial 3D printers. It is now time to discuss the assembly of the MC-21 aircraft in Irkutsk. The plant was assembling the fuselages of the 26th and 27th aircraft, according to factory nomenclature, in March, while the first import substituted MC-21 310s were being prepared for flight. The 27th MC-21 is actually the 14th serial aircraft with Russian PD-14 engines if the test aircraft is excluded from that number. Currently, these are shells that will be transformed into fully functional aircraft upon the completion of the trials of all designated test aircraft. Additionally, the testing is ongoing. The first flight of the test aircraft with tail number 73054 occurred in March 2025. The objective of these flights is to update the aerodynamic characteristics database, a process that is indispensable for the development of the mathematical model for flight simulators and pilot training systems, as well as other applications. Secondly, aircraft 73055 is virtually operational. It is equipped with Russian PD-14 engines, but it still retains some foreign onboard equipment from the first version, the MC-21-300. In addition, Aircraft 73057 is nearly completed and is entirely furnished with Russian components. How long until flights commence? According to Russian Minister of Industry and Trade Anton Alakhanov, certification flights of the fully import substituted MC-21 aircraft, equipped with domestic PD-14 engines, are scheduled to begin in late June, early July 2025. In reality, Aircraft 73057, which is completely equipped with domestic onboard electronic systems, is anticipated to take flight in the summer. Consequently, 7355 should fly even earlier, in the spring. The highly anticipated phase of in-plant final flight testing will start with the beginning of these two MC-21-310 flights in Irkutsk. The first completely passenger-ready MC-21s will be delivered from the factory in 2026. It is important to emphasize that the MC-21's readiness for delivery in 2026 or 2027 is of little consequence. Russia will not be able to obtain a high-quality and safe aircraft without conducting a significant number of test flights and resolving all the resulting issues. The factory's current emphasis on the future which includes the modernization of production lines and the construction of additional fuselages, indicates that there will be no further delays after the testing process is complete. Additionally, the Irkutsk Aviation Plant will be technically capable of producing 36 MC-21 aircraft annually beginning in 2027, as reported by the local press in March 2025. The company will also be able to continue the production of military aircraft and the maintenance and enhancements of these aircraft. Irkutsk is not solely responsible for the production of the MC-21. It also mass-produces the Su-30 fighter aircraft and the Yak-130 combat trainer. Furthermore, the Nizhny Novgorod Sokol Aviation has also become a participant in the MC-21 components production program. The keel compartment and door elements are being manufactured at this location, and the enterprise is currently constructing a duplicate production facility. 
This facility will include stamping, mechanical assembly, metallurgical, forging, casting, and assembly units. Now, do you think the MC-21 is much delayed? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.